How long had you and Bones <laughs> been talking about this parting of ways? I, I don't know. We've kind of sensed it. We we knew that uh, we were hoping that the U.S. Open would be our our last tournament together because we started in the U.S. Open in 1992, 25 years ago. But technically, we started in the U.S. Open qualifying, which took place in Memphis 25 years ago. So it was almost to a day, uh, 25 years. And we knew that final round, that it was our final round together, most likely. And it was it was an emotional uh, day for us. But um, we've we've had 25 incredible years where we've we've shared highs and lows on and off the golf course. The, the, the Ryder cup president's cup team events have been incredible experiences for us to, to partake in because they're so uh, stressful and emotional. We've also had a number of wins, but we've also had a, no- a number of difficult times. And Dan, when, when I went through the most difficult time of my life, when Amy was uh, going through her uh, battle with cancer, the first person to show up was bones and, and, and his wife, Jen. That that uh, that really taught me a lot, because what I learned through that process is, when people are going through a tough time, you just show up. You just need to be there. And it was Bones who who demonstrated that firsthand. So we've we've had these uh, emotional experiences on and off the course, highs and lows, and I'm so thankful and appreciative that that I was able to share those with him. Uh, I can't think of a better person to have done that with. And going forward, as my brother, who manages John Rahm, is going to carry the bag, take over the bag for the rest of the year, and I'm appreciative for John okaying it because obviously that's his, my brother Tim's first priority. Tim is one of the people that I love, like, and respect the most in this world, and I'm very appreciative and excited about the opportunity to spend more time with him because when he left to coach the men's golf team at Arizona State five and a half years ago. I didn't get to see him very much, and it was it was uh, I really missed him. And so, now that he's been managing John, I've been able to see him at a lot more tournaments. And now that he's going to be carrying the bag, I get to work with him daily, and I'm really really excited about that opportunity. Why do we think there's something else attached to this other than a parting of ways, a mutual parting of ways with you and Bones? Uh, I didn't know that you did. Well, I, I guess you can't help but think that because you know, there was nothing else attached to this with, uh, hey, you know, this is going to be the final tournament or this could be the final tournament. And maybe you just kept it in-house. It just feels like that there was something else attached to it. And, uh, you know, I didn't know if it was health. I didn't, you know, there was a variety of things that came to mind. But it just feels like it was such a great partnership. And I remember having Bones on when Stevie Williams said that nonsense about how many tournaments he had won, him and Tiger, and he, he, he was saying, we've won X number, and Bones came on, and, and I said, is there going to be a day when Phil has to fire you? And he said, yeah, there probably will be. So, I don't know. I just... I, I don't think it was a firing. It was just we both uh, kind of talked about it, and there wasn't an incident. It was just, I think we both needed a change. And there's really no better way to say it. You know, I... Uh, we we both were looking for for something different, and um, I think that he's going to have opportunities to uh, to to be on the bag of some great great players. I think a lot of the top players are going to want him uh, on his bag because of his experience, his knowledge, his ability to think clearly under the gun, his uh, Ryder Cup and Presidents Cup experiences, uh, knowing and being having such a high golf IQ. I think he's going to be able to bring a lot to the table for a number of players. And uh, that's, I think that's going to be exciting and give him a new energy to, uh, to have an opportunity like that. And, and for me, like I said, to have time with my brother is going to be uh, exciting for me as well. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.